what to do with that extra time. Like I said the other day, I will gain about an hour and a half extra a day because I would have like a 30 minute commute, 35 minute, maybe 40, 35 minute commute in the morning and maybe an hour or so commute in the afternoon. So it's about 45 minutes in the morning, 45 minutes in the afternoon. So what do you do with this extra hour? And this is the next thing I'll talk about. What do you do? I want you to think in a Kanban way or a Scrum way or limiting your work in progress, limiting your your agenda, because then you're going to get frustrated. I see so many people think, I'm going to get all this stuff done. I'm like, no, you're not, because you got to do your work. You're not, you don't have all this extra free time. You got a little bit of free time. So limit your goals on what you want to achieve over and above what you normally do for your job, if you can. I mean, if you're out of work, but treat, do Scrum and Agile, write a list of things you want to do. Like if you're not able to work and you're unemployed this time, list the things you do, list the priorities just where we do Scrum. Maybe maybe we'll do tomorrow, we'll do a whole, how do you prioritize that? We'll do a fictional avenue if you're out of unemployed this, this week or something like that. Most IT people, you can work remotely. Most businesses, you can too. You can follow up with customers um, and do old school marketing, right? But limit what you do. Do a limit of the work in progress, right? Whip. Limit that. Try just doing one thing. Pick one thing this week. Don't go crazy. That's the biggest thing I see because we're talking about process improvement. Just like in a retrospective, at the retrospective, you want to come out of the retrospective with one thing that you want to work on as a group. Do a retro on yourself. What do you want to, what do your goal is, and do that one thing. I got a cat running around like crazy. and take the world out. I'm waiting for the lights to come crashing down. But pick one thing that you want to do. Like for me, I want to finish reading a book. So every 45 minutes in the morning and the 45 minutes in the afternoon, I'm just going to read towards this book and, and clean the book out. Once I do the book done, then I'll go do something else. And that's my goal. But just click them into one thing at a time. Get it done. Step so you step. step by step, just like the, he says, step by step. Pick the one thing, get it done so you feel like you accomplished everything, something. If you look at try to do five different things, you're not going to get any of it done. You're going to feel beaten, right? So get one and say, hey, one good thing out of this thing is I got this one thing done. And just get that done and then do the next thing. But it's only 45 minutes. What can you really do in 45 minutes? Not much. So pick the one thing, study a class, whatever, you know, like if a class or mine's an hour long, you get one class or two classes done. That'd be great. So just think of it that way. With that, we're going to bow out. It's Monday. It's still late. It's 6. You know. And this is our 244th, 45th episode, actually. We're almost at 250. It's pretty amazing, huh? Um, here we, I'm Greg Mester, Scrum Master, Agile Coach, and we talk about Agile and Scrum in a practical and tactical way, and also apply Agile and Scrum to other things we do in life and how you can use these techniques to help you through difficult times and issues. And I just had a brain stoppage because it's, it's early and it's Monday and it's a typical Monday, except for the fact we're all quarantined at home. Um, but we do this so you, you can get home to your family and friends, which you're stuck at home. So I guess we don't need that part of the intro because now you're physically stuck at home. Now you got to figure out how do we separate yourself from your family and friends? Cause you're with them 24 seven, you know, it's like 643. Got things to do. Get ready. Probably have to go to the store. I have to go to the store. No, probably don't have to go. Oh, they got to go to the store. All right. In case you got to go to the store, we'll see you later. Have a good day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Take care of your family, yourselves. Do some um, WebExes with the family tonight, right, Ed? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to, or WebEx or Zoom or Google Hangouts, some kind of video thing. We should call Grammy and Grandpa, right? we to do that tonight? Yeah. We'll do Grammy and Grandpa today. Maybe we'll do it in the afternoon. Not so, no, all the middle of the night, maybe in the afternoon for lunch. That'd be a great way. Can you do it? Can we do it um, with Connor? You want to do it with cousins? We'll get your cousins on. They should be studying. <laughs> All right. Hey, ring the bell. You want to keep listening? This guy's going, still going viral. He had a, he had, he had
He had 25,000 views last night. <laughs> Future YouTuber right there. Anyway, take care. Hey, May, he's blowing me away. Have a great day. Enjoy your Monday. Have some fun. I don't have bye. A yeah, yeah, I know. We got to work on your YouTube channel one day. All right. Bye. Happy strumming. <laughs>